sweeping down upon the underworld to smash gangland comes the friend of the unfortunate, enemy of criminals. The mysterious, all-powerful character was a problem to the police. A crusader for law. In reality, Dan Garrett, a rookie patrolman, loved by everyone but suspected by none of being the Blue Beetle. Coming to you from parts unknown, it's Van Scabling, talking comics, graphic design, and art. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Hello, friends. It is a wonderful Wednesday, as always. It's sunny, it's bright. I should be in my office recording crap, but I'm not. I'm out on the road doing stuff. But today's video is going to be kind of cool. Uh, we're talking about Blue Beetle. Now, Blue Beetle, the original version from uh, Fox Feature Syndicate, is the one I'll be talking about mostly. And then I'll go into the Charlton Blue Beetle uh, version of the Blue Beetle. As you know, on the show, I like to, uh, lately I've been on a jag to redesign uh, these public domain characters. Uh, Blue Beetle is a very interesting character for the fact that his name is trademarked by DC. So you really can't call your character that you redesign Blue Beetle. But you can use the elements and create a new character in this case. I took the name from a pu oh, another public domain item. It's Edgar Allan Poe's story, Goldbug. So I took that and I created this version of, well, not Blue Beetle, but now, but Goldbug using the um, second design. Because the original design was a suit um, in the very first story. But then he got the nice superhero chainmail costume. And um, anyway, so this is my take if you will, of Blue Beetle, and I call him Goldbug. Same ability, same powers, the same history and origin. At just some point in history, he changed his name. So what I would probably do is go to the end of, the, of this version of the character's run and switch it over. Now, we get into the Charlton version, which was a magic-based superhero. And... This would have the second version of the Blue Beetle that Charlton did right after Fox. And he um, had the ability to change magically. Uh, Kajada or Kajaja, or whatever the magic words on the screen, you can see it. And he had enhanced superpowers, and it's pretty cool. The version that DC ran with was the third version, which is Ted Cord. And they were rightly in doing so. And that's the one that's trademarked the name with the costume. And now they've got a, um, a dude like wearing this cool armor, black and blue armor. And he's the current Blue Beetle. And it, it looks really cool. But um, anyway, in my version, uh, the Kajana kind of magic. I'm going to the Egyptian look. It's more of um, I'm trying to do Silver Age still, but with an Egyptian flair, an Egyptian look to it. Um, I have a superhero who's Egyptian based, and it's Scarabus. And I created him years ago. There are so many things that can be done with with these insect heroes. There are so many great ones that I really enjoy. And one of them uh, that I always go back to, you know, is is Common Rider. I love Common Rider. Uh, there's, you know, just love that whole idea of the bug superheroes. Um, I would say Big Bad Beetleborgs, um, but that's not the Japanese title. And right now at the moment, that escapes me. So I'll put it down here at the bottom as well. Like I said, I'm sitting in the car in a parking lot. <laughs> and then, um, of course, Spider-Man, you know, all these great bug heroes. And I think they can be traced back to your Green Hornet, your your Blue Beetle. Those guys back in the golden age of comics. I thank you very much for checking out this stuff, looking at my new character, Goldbug, and the Goldbug of the 1960s, the magic Goldbug. Thank you so much for watching. Please look after one another. Take care. God bless. I'm out of here. Goodbye.
Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at tpublic.com. You'll be glad you did.